our series, A More Perfect Union, aims to show that what unites us as Americans is far greater than what divides us. Millions of students across the country will return to school this week after the holidays. So we're looking at a program that brings a special kind of love and encouragement into classrooms that need it. Jan Crawford is in Washington where grandparents are part of the lesson plan. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning. So, you know, I mean, maybe the only thing as powerful as a parent's love is a grandparent's love. And at schools across the country, more than 20,000 seniors are volunteering every day as foster grandparents right there in the classroom. As the day begins at XL Public School in Southeast Washington, there are a few mature faces among the young girls rushing to class. Good morning, Taylor. Wearing blue aprons and serving up hugs are six foster grandmothers. You back me with the caboose. Working alongside the school's teachers to help students succeed. Inside Dr. Smith's first grade class is Grandma Margie Dixon. What does it mean to you to be here? It gives me um, a lot of energy just to be with them. What difference does she make at school time? She make it funny and every fun when she make it funny. She's sweet and we see you. She helps us. They're role models for our young ladies. Principal Tanaya Pritchard said she'd love a grandparent in every classroom. Our grandmothers live in the community, so they see our young ladies at the grocery store, on the buses. And so um, the girls, when they're at home and in their communities and with their families, they can see a part of school. For Grandmas Dixon, Wanda Brookings, and Maureen Brooks, the word that best describes their experience is joy. But it's a joy to get up every morning knowing that a smile and a hug is waiting for me. Who wouldn't want to get up and get that? <laughs> <laughs> and they need you. And they, they need me and I need them each and every day. Do you feel like you're really helping yes. them learn? Yes, you see it every day. Little things I do with my children in the room. I have one little girl. I do you that. wink. And then I say, then that lets her know, you're doing good today. And I Just love that you. encouragement, like a, a wink and a mm -hmm. thumbs up. That's our secret. The program is only open to seniors earning less than twice the federal poverty level. Nationwide, the Corporation for National Community Service helps more than 150,000 young people work with 22,000 foster grandparents in nearly every state. The most important factor to move people into self-sufficiency is education. Cheryl Christmas runs the D.C. program, one of the largest in the country. We try to match individuals in areas and in schools and early childhood that people are struggling. The kids benefit from the social emotional connection. And then for the grandparents, they too are learning. Seniors get help with everything from wills to annual physicals. A recent study found that nearly half of the program's volunteers report improved health after just one year something Grandma Maureen has felt personally. What did the doctor say about you doing this? Oh, he told me to keep up the good work, my pressure down. Your blood pressure's down. Blood pressure mm -hmm. down, my weight is down. I just said my cataracts removed, they're fine. I said I got to see my babies. But for these grandmothers, the program's most valuable benefit is in the classroom. Love, yeah. don't cost anything. Mm -hmm. I had one little girl to tell me, she said, do you know how much I love you? Mm -hmm. You know how you turn your eyes because you have tears mm -hmm. in there. I said, you just don't know how much I love you today, baby. Mm -hmm. But you're getting emotional about this. You see so many children that don't get love. They have no idea what love is about. Mm -hmm. And to me, to share my love, that, that can take them a long ways. Now, the grandparents do get a small stipend, but of course the value goes far beyond money for them. Here in Washington, there is a waiting list of 100 seniors who are hoping to get involved. The only hurdle, more funding for the program. Anthony. Oh. All right, Jan, thank you. Find I love those three funding. ladies. Yeah, yeah, and find the funding. Wow. I mean, it's great for the grandmothers, great for the kids, yeah. great for the teachers to get oh, help absolutely. in the classroom. Absolutely, absolutely. All right.